Simon Burgess, snowboarder, friend of the ski channel and also content creator, sent me this from TikTok. If you are actually a good skier or snowboarder, you're going to agree with everything that I say in this video. I'm about to share a list of 10 things that people do on the mountain that lets everybody else know that they're not a good skier or snowboarder. If you do any of this, don't feel like you have to defend yourself. Don't take it too harshly. We've all done some of this stuff before, so just listen up. If you wear any gear from Dope Snow, you probably have no idea what you're doing, but probably have a big ego at the same time and aren't very nice to people. It's gonna make a lot of people mad with this two for one banger, but if you wear a sports jersey on the mountain, you don't know what you're doing. And especially if you have a GoPro mounted to your head, that just screams that you don't know what you're doing. Well, as it's minus 16 in Revelstoke today, I'm wearing my super thick dope jacket and I've even got an extra layer. I've got the 2024 Revelstoke Cricket Club jersey on just to keep me warm. I'm also going to go out and try and film as much as possible with the Insta360 on my helmet. I could choose the GoPro if I wanted to. Apparently, I have no idea what I'm doing on the mountain. That's a load of crap. And today we're going to get into the hate for dope snow. Now, full disclosure, guys, in the past, I have done a little bit of work with dope snow. In a previous winter, they sent me a care package to review a bunch of clothing. At the start of this winter, they sent me some vouchers, which allowed me to get the clothing that I am wearing for this winter, which I really, really like. This is not a sponsored video. What this is, is a passionate defense of a brand that I really like, and also trying to tackle some of the things I'm seeing right now in the industry, especially online, that I don't like. If you are unfamiliar with Dope Snow or its sister brand Montec, they are one of a number of startup ski clothing brands that have originated out of Europe in the last several years. And in the case of Dope Snow, this has seen a big rise across the industry, taking a large portion of the market in the last two to three years. Now, specifically, people like me like Dope Snow because they've created stylish clothing with some really good quality materials, keeping you insulated in all kinds of weather like this at an affordable price that doesn't leave me minus an entire paycheck from my wallet. But not everybody shares that level of enthusiasm. Some people have opposing views, which is fine. This guy is clearly one of them. But I've noticed a trend with people who do not like dope. They don't really explain what their issue is. He's not the only one. There seems to be a trend that is popular to hate on dope snow. If we look at some of the comments from my previous dope snow videos, these are what some people say. Bone C85 says, yeah, great honest expert review. Cheap Chinese Kopos $10 goggles rebranded as dope to sell it for $110. Cheap clothes fabric, cheap construction, great fanboy and a very smart person. Whereas Jordan Betteridge 1598 says, I've tried Dope Snow products, horrifically bad product and worse customer service. You might as well light your money on fire if you give this company your business. Now I queried that with Jordan. I wanted to understand a little bit more and his response was, they refused to return with me and their product description was misleading. Hopefully this horrible company goes out of business. Okay, so it's not everybody's cup of tea, but for those of us Dope Snow loving, jersey wearing ski vloggers who apparently are really horrible people and don't know what we're doing on the mountain, we want to actually understand why is there hate for dope snow. But I need to do it off the mountain, A, because it's really cold, and yeah, I don't know how to ski. I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. Having looked through those comments, I think the reason why some people do not like dope snow is for two reasons. One is the perceived lack of quality, and also that it's cheap. Let's talk about quality then, because over the last couple of winters I've accumulated uh, a couple of jackets and pants, and the beauty about being in Revelstoke is that the conditions are so varied that make it perfect for testing these materials to see how they actually fare. One day I could be in deep heavy powder, which could be either wet or dry, or I could be in an icy cold windy day like it has been lately. And everything that I have worn across those times has held up perfectly. I've used this stuff for a day heli skiing. I've used this in a deep powder day. I've used it as you saw earlier today. And especially I want to shout out to the Adept jacket and what I think is probably the best thing out there 
it's the knitted face mask, which compared to all the buffs and the different snoods has been an absolute revelation for me, especially on the windy days. Something so simple like that has got me through so many different days. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on the specs of the clothing. If you're interested in that, I'll put the link to the old videos above that you can watch. As a whole though, for insulation, ventilation, the stitching, the fabrics, it ticks all the boxes for me and it ticks all the boxes for a lot of other people. I don't think so many people would buy Dope Snow or buy Montec if they didn't find the quality of the product good. The other issue was surrounding price, which again, I am trying to understand because this is not like we're going into Decathlon or going online to Amazon and just buying the cheapest thing we see here. These products, depending on the item of ski clothing on the Dope website, the ride store, it's between 100 to 250 Canadian dollars. So it's by no means sort of like pennies here. But like I said before, the, the, the quality in my opinion is that it, it is very, very good. In contrast to some of the other more established brands, shall we say, Burton, I've just done a, a, a brief Google here. We're seeing $700, $360 for, for pieces of clothing, for jackets. Why would I want to spend that much more when I can get the same item of clothing for a little bit less but actually still roughly that same quality. You know, not everybody is wanting to get the top of the range stuff um, to be able to do the, the same activity. Um, and that leads me on to the point around uh, inclusivity and introducing new people into the market. Because from my observation, Dope Snow has captured a, 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 a lot of the new people coming into the, 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 the skiing industry, which we desperately need. And it's provided a sort of an entry level piece of clothing that not only is good but it also is good looking you know because people do want to look good on the mountains um and i don't see why that's an issue skiing does have a, a problem around reputation as being perceived as an expensive sport to get into um there's a lot of sort of stereotypes around it i mean this is coming from someone who's a middle class english white person so i, I know how, how this goes but the fact that I've seen a lot of people new to the sport wearing this, skiing on the mountains with smiles, uh, makes me feel really, really positive. And I think that should for us too. We should want new people coming into the sport because there's a, a large portion of people who, who are elderly, you know, who have made up a large portion of the ski market for the last couple of decades. So we need to be looking more forward. We need to be trying to bring new people in. And this brand has helped that. Asteroid Catcher 7701 said in a recent video, ditch the dope snow. I'm a snowboarder, but the same should apply for both skiing and snowboarding. Support the brands that support your sport. There are so many brands that have given so much to your sport. Product R&D, athlete support and sponsorship, competition funding, resort and terrain park funding, these social media ski and snowboard equipment, mostly soft goods, are nothing but a cash grab. They give nothing back to the sport. Respectfully, I have to disagree with that comment. I don't think a brand has to invest in pro athletes and everything surrounding that to give back to the sport. But having said that, if you actually do a little bit of research and you check out uh, skiers such as Steep Steep or Lucas Catania, who have massive social media followings, um, there has been support from these brands. Uh, but then they also support the little guy like me. And that is one of the things which I think Dope Snow excels at is actually the, the engaging with the casual skier the, the new skier the the person who doesn't know everything there is to know about a particular board you know or isn't too technical with their knowledge of skiing but is just incredibly passionate about being up there on the mountains and further proof of that is actually uh their social media interactions with people who buy their brand um i would highly recommend if if you do wear dope snow clothing to join their community facebook group because in there it's just uh, a lot of positivity and a a lot of support for one another people all over the world who wear their clothing but at the core it's all around the love for the sport and i think that's what i want to try and bring it back to here is that actually we should be able to accommodate all these different styles these different marketing initiatives these different 
types of brands that are reaching different people. It's not one size fits all. But if you're not a fan of Dope Snow, then that's absolutely fine. I just wish that uh, I could have an open and honest discussion with those of you that feel that way in the comments section below, because my experience so far has been a lot of vitriol, uh, not a lot of productive discussion. Um, and that's prompted me to make this video, which I've actually been wanting to make for a while. Now, if you are a fan of Dope Snow, then you can hit the like button on this video. And if you are new to the channel, please do hit subscribe to stay up to date with all future videos throughout this season. Appreciate you guys watching this. Thank you very much. And I'll see you next time.